Hi friends, it's Peg, and today we did a live show for Art Dre Sharing. That's my sister channel I share with Chelsea, and each week, 10.30 Central Standard Time, we do a live video <clears throat> for a live audience. And if you want to join us for that and get this video in real time, just head on over to Art Joy is Sharing. So the theme for today was to use what you have. And <clears throat> Shell and I started dragging things out that we just haven't been using on a regular basis. And uh, right now I'm using these Nuvo uh, brush pens that are full of pretty inks. And I'm just using a water brush to blend those down. I've already taped off this watercolor journal and I'm creating a watercolor background. Uh, now, you know, I love stencils and one of the things that I love the most is that we have repped for uh, Stencil Girl products for a number of years. And I am proud to say that my friend Shell is now designing for Stencil Girl products. And she has just released some new uh, stencils for Stencil Girl. <clears throat> so go over to Stencil Girl Products and check out her wonderful designs from the Southwest. So uh, before the show started and during the show, I taped off several pages and used a number of different uh, products to watercolor with. What I'm going to grab now are some water-soluble markers. You can get these um, from a number of different suppliers. Today I am using La Plumes and Tombow markers and markers from uh, Amazon. So you can get these watercolor markers any number of places. Um, I do have them in my Amazon store. So if you're interested in shopping with me, just check the description box below. Uh, my store is listed there and any purchases that you make, not just uh, art supplies, but any purchases you make when you go to Amazon, uh, help support the artist that you are following when you click on their link. So I appreciate each and every one of you that uses the links that I have supplied. So I'm using a watercolor brush. This is a water reservoir brush from Pentel. And I am pulling out one of Shell's stencils. And what I'm doing is just using a wet baby wipe through the stencil and pulling some of that ink back through. It just mutes it down a little bit. There's the other page that I had done, and now here's a third page. So I'm going to start with uh, some Sharpie markers. And I'm just going to sketch in some flowers and petals. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I think I was inspired. Uh, I was looking on our Facebook group, Art Joy is Sharing. And uh, many of the people who had watched me a couple of weeks ago were making pages that were similar to the page that I had done where I had done a technique similar to this. I laid down my color, but what I did was a reverse painting and paint out the background. This time I'm gonna actually paint the image and I'm using those markers to go into the flowers and add some color. And then I'm going to get some titanium white paint. This is a golden acrylic paint. And I'm going to start painting in some of the other petals. Now you'll see me pull things out because I'm talking to the audience. And the bag that I had that was uh, water reservoir brushes were filled with Diane Reevely inks. Um, Shell was using the Diane Reevely inks today. So if you want to see what she did with those, go and check out her channel. That uh, is Shell C. 
and she's listed uh, down below in the description box. And uh, you can also see the whole live show on Art Joy Sharing. So I'm painting out these watercolors with this titanium and white, and what you can see is that the white is starting to mix with those colors that are underneath. And it gives it a really cool effect, almost like a tie-dye or something. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to start working on another project, but I will be back. If you would like to see the second part of the projects that I did for today, I will do that in a separate video. It's entirely different from this piece, and I think it deserves its own video. So what I've done is I've pulled another large marker out. I also... Uh, use several different pens and markers because I like to have variation in the size and so I will use a number of different black markers to do that. I'm going to get my smoky uh, color archival ink, just uh, touch up the edge to give it a little more depth and that's it for today and I will finish out that other project in another video. I hope you come and join us in Art Joyous Sharing. We have a lot of fun in that community, and there are challenges each and every month. So, you know, if you enjoy art and having a good community to share it in, that's the place to be. All you have to do is answer a few questions, and we will add you to the group. Thanks for being here today. Bye, guys.